there was a time where I was harassed, literally harassed, and the person laughed on my face, making a joke out of it in front of like many, you motherfucker, and whatever, whatever, no, 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 and then she got up, I was shocked. She did that in front of like the entire crew. I cried for two hours and then it was time for me to shoot. I literally washed my face, redid my makeup and then just like pretending like nothing happened because I need to be professional. Many people are gonna get offended, mad, call me names, curse me and whatever. You guys, mm, I know, what's popping? <laughs> It's second day, so don't mind. Um, so this quarantine couple, I had a lot of time to think about things that I was, you know, just ignoring or running away from. But then, yeah, there was like time where you realize, no, it's time to face it. And since earlier, mm -hmm. you know, Bollywood actor who recently passed away and then Kamna go uh, Kamna being so honest and sharing things I was watching a video and just I was like she was talking about what actually happens inside industry that people don't want to talk about or don't like to talk about if they want to talk about they are like I don't know there are many things that even happened in Nepal, but then people don't like to talk about it. And it's been five past, like the five years that I've been in this industry. I've done eight movies, and there were like situations and places that I saw, which was too much to handle for a seventeen-year-old kid, and. I saw it all and I was very disgusted but then at the same time I loved my job and then there were people out there who were like I know like because I told the person like what I had been through and when I told them they were they felt very bad for me but then at the same time they would tell me not to tell anyone because this industry is like you know very small and people who are in power have control and they have this unity and if they don't want you in they can you know then it's over for me i wouldn't get any job offers or movie offers and everything like i've heard that for the past five years i still get pissed off <sighs> and then i used to go on movie promotions like movie movie promotion I was tired like Harik interview they would ask me the same questions like why do people hate me so much and why are you called Kamandi and blah 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 da, da, da. and I was tired of the same question I mean because people thought I was Kamandi I am in places where I need to be, not just like random men say, oh, go to a comedy. I'm not that person. So I was like, what's happening? Like, how is this thing has been circulating for so long? Why? And then, you know, ding, ding, ding. It made me realize I've worked with eight different people. And there were like three people I worked with whose movie went who, because I worked with them, that's why like I got a good opportunity. But then there were things that I saw, things they did to me, and I was not happy with it. So I, I chose to not work with them again. They did offer me movies, but then I chose to not to work with them again. And that's when they started to spread lies about me, and they still do raise up. Uh, I was sick and tired. Trust me, I've been. There was a time where I was harassed, literally harassed, and the person laughed on my face, making a joke out of it in front of like many men's and working people. I 
I was just 17 years old. I got it together. And this was, then again, there was a time where there was another movie, there was a time where management was not good. And I told that person, like, you literally lied to our face. Like, we're not getting food properly. Like, we're not getting our food in time. We don't even get to drink water. Like, it's not fair. This is not a good management. And that person literally was trying to come at me, like, I'm gonna beat you up when you're at a study, you know? You motherfucker, and whatever, whatever, no, 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 no. And then she got up, I was shocked. She did that in front of like the entire crew. I cried for two hours, and then it was time for me to shoot. I literally washed my face, redid my makeup, and then just like pretended like nothing happened because I need to be professional no matter what people spread a lie about me you should know about me that i'm very sincere in my work i'm very disciplined when i need to be i love my work i'm always on time i give my 110 percent if there are times where i'm weak sorry that i'm weak and i'm going through my shit but when it's working hour i never tend to lack off because i don't like to be you know said in my face or thrown at my face that eh, she doesn't do a good job. If someone does that, then I'll try to do even better next time or that day so. And then there was another movie where I was lied to my face, where I thought that person was my guardian and everything. I loved that person and even in interviews, like there were like so many people out there who hated that person but then I didn't care because I loved her work and loved that person work and so I was always there for that person but that that person kept on me lying to my face just broke my trust did pretty shitty things to me and since then like I did get job offers from them but I didn't do it. <laughs> they might lie, oh no, she was like this and that. She was such a knockerwaldi and all that. So like, I had to choose a Naya heroine. No, that's a lie. Oh, and so you see about me saying this and posting on this media, many people are gonna get offended, mad, call me names, curse me and whatever. One, Maybe there, there, there are people out there who have never met me or worked with me, but then did the same kind of pretty bad things to the person they've worked with, and they might get mad too. People don't like to talk things like this out in media. If you don't like to take things like, you know, if you don't want these things to come out, then please respect us actors, treat us equally, please give us some respect. That's all I want. Not every, like I've done eight movies, I've told you. Only three movies were a bad experience and eye opener for me, but then this particular movie, Gryasuni, they have given me a warm welcome. They've loved me, supported me. But then there are a few people out there who have like huge name, huge banner, but then trust me. I've seen them doing things and it's not fair. I know now people are gonna even make more bad rumors about me, even worse maybe. But I've been used to hate first. I've been used to people hating me for so long since like my school days, high school days. High school, man, if you ask someone that who knew me, ask them, they might tell you, like, I wouldn't talk to anyone. I didn't have any friends because whenever I chose to make friends, I was either backstabbed or, like, you know, lied to. That's when I was like, I'm here to study. My mom, my parents are, like, spending their money, their time and effort on making me something that... I should be or can be, but then these people are ruining it for me. I'm not gonna let them. 
So I'm hated by many, I still am hated by many. There are like other followers, my Instagram, my Facebook, my most of them, they are there for me, love me, support me, but then there are some of them who are there to hate me, to criticize me. And you know what? I'm used to it. I'm not complaining about it, but what I'm complaining about is like, I know I'm not the first one who have been through things, like seeing things, but I really wanted to talk about it, so I had to. I mean, actors are itty kotso, itty, you know, big in song, you know. Boy, Sabu Kramp and a high speed actor. Oh my god, it's a lie. Like, everyone is in this together, okay? I'm not talking about actors. We actors, I don't know, like, it's a mirror back fa background, family background, I'm not from a movie industry. I'm the only one. Like, my family's not from the movie industry. I'm the only one. But then, it's like not everyone is bad, but then there are few people who are bad and very powerful. There was one of the director who also came to me and talked to me like, "Now you're big and everything, you know, like you've grown up and everything, and, but please, like, don't tell these things in media." Because he was also like that person was also like. I'm sure he's done pretty bad things at work. I don't know. If I'm telling the truth, so why is it that bad? We need to let people know. It's not all happy, happy. It's not all glamorous, glamorous, goody, goody. Working environment, even if the person is doing bad to me, no matter what, the work environment, ma, more rock mukaira sony. The whole my movies and my dance of man, you're looking dance on me. Some guy is a bad actor. I don't want that, of course. I don't want your behavior to affect me, and that's never gonna affect me. Action, when I put you action, God, when I put you then I'm gonna be me. I'm so sorry, like I'm saying all of these things, but it had to be done. I wish I could say in details, but then if I say in details, trust me, I'm gonna I'm gonna cry, and I hate seeing people cry and i hate seeing people you know see me crying so yeah bye take care